example, the coral is only like this big. I'm going to draw it bigger. First, we have to place it on where it's sitting, which is a piece of rock that's in the bottom of the tank. And I am in the process of using, let me bring that out here, I'm using sketch ink with my um, Hong Dian pen. So, and um, I know uh, so many use an actual pencil to start out the picture, but I don't want to use an actual pencil, and I don't want to continually squeak, so we'll see, we'll see how that goes. Okay, um, I have to pause. Pause the video. Okay, let's do it. Okay, now we're restarting. So I have this little coral in my fish tank. And it's pretty cool because they... Um, they grow out like this, and then some of them, um, when it's nighttime, they put themselves back into the space. It's approximately this. They're going to fill up this space with all these little tentacles, like, and they're going to. They poof out. Probably biting off more than I can chew on this picture, but um, the photograph is my own from my fish tank. And yes, there are a lot of these. And they are filter feeders, so they get the food from the water as it goes by. And there are lots of them. So what's going to happen is we're going to have a few um, ones prevalent and then we're just going to give the illusion of a, a lot of them then. So we're going to have so many, and then there's a current going that way. There's a few more, and then we have white sand in the saltwater tank. There are some lines on here, and this is filled with little spots. And what happens every once in a while? It'll take a day off, and it'll um, when you see this, when its tentacles are not out are actually, let me zoom in a little bit, there we go, right there, when they're not out, The 
it's more of a it looks like that we'll make this a thumbnail so yeah this is daytime and this is nighttime and then um there are other things in the background and the photograph that I have for this particular everything in the background is blurry but we're gonna we're gonna write on here this we're gonna write on here my fish my salt water tank and then we'll put my name on it And then we are going to paint it. Okay, so the first thing we are going to do is use a bigger brush. Let's see. That is silver black velvet. Okay, so I bought a Canon M50 Mark II camera. And I'm learning how to use it. I um, haven't had it but maybe four days. So uh, forgive me if it's just not um, um, very good. I'm, I'm still learning how to use it now. So um, let's put some water down on here. And of all the videos that I've seen people use on YouTube, and uh, except for if you look up videos about the Canon M50, the YouTubers aren't talking about their cameras. Not that I've seen. I mean, they might have at one time, but I haven't seen it. So um, I'm just sharing my information. Okay, so I have some have some undersea green and we will zoom out a little bit oh this is gonna be so fun I'm sorry I'm just really happy about this so the fish tank is not green but there's an illusion of color in there so we're gonna do we're gonna do that there's color in the background and um, we'll start with that. Okay, so undersea green is that one and this one is a, let's see, how does that work? Silver black velvet size 10. I ordered me a size 8. I haven't gotten it yet. I'm pretty excited about that. Okay. So we're going to put some ultramarine. Just pretty wild. So we're going to water that down a lot. Definitely a lot. And we can actually even sop that up. That's a bit much. Okay. And then there is cobalt teal, which would have been cobalt deal teal if I would have rinsed my brush out. So we'll try that again. Okay, let me put that over here. It's a beautiful color. I love this color. So we're gonna put some in there and pretend that when you look in the fish tank the water is blue but the actuality when you look in the fish tank the water isn't really blue it's clear so it's like the ocean if you look at it from above you see blue water and the truth is if you take a glass of it then it's clear let's get rid of some more of that all right now 
this little coral that I have is kind of a, um, it's not really a yellow ochre, but it has yellow ochre tendencies. <laughs> Sorry, I'm making myself laugh. I don't mean to do that. Um, let's see. Yeah. It definitely has the, um, has that. We're gonna put that there. And a long time ago, I had a fish tank and a saltwater tank, and um, I had one similar to this, and it got as big as a dinner plate. So if you went underneath it, there was shade underneath it. It was actually pretty sweet. And the same thing happens to the nighttime one. It just stays like that. Okay. And just for the conversation, we can put some sea green into that um, ultramarine turquoise and make this a nighttime scene. And for um, your information, when you have saltwater tanks, what happens is they glow under blue light. It's actually quite cool. And I totally messed that up. Okay, let's get that out of there. That'll work. But they do, they do glow, which is actually quite, actually quite cool. Alright, so now the floor of the fish tank is actually, it's a white sand. And my snails love it, especially the cowrie snail which is in there, which you never get to see because it's about, oh, I don't know, two inches long, and it lives under the sand. And every once in a while, lo and behold, it'll just pop up. I was like, hey, where have you been? And I was like, yay, it's still alive. And that's how I know that it's still alive because it pops up. So, yeah. Um, my towel... Pretty, is pretty um, getting pretty wet. Okay, so um, I'm finished with this one. I'm just gonna say this is night mode. Night mode. And we're gonna write on here. Happy little coral. Happy little girl. All right. I hope you enjoyed this. And there you are. So, have a great day. Talk to you later. Bye.